Do you want to learn how to get free traffic towards your SEO listings? Then this video is gonna be the one you want to watch. So in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how I optimize my Etsy listings, why you can look at, why you should optimize, and how you can improve your listings in order to get more organic sales and also just improve the traffic towards your listings overall. And with that being said, this is a very beginner friendly tutorial, so it's not gonna require you to have any previous knowledge. It will be very straightforward, simple to follow, and just easy throughout. So just make sure you watch the whole video to get the full understanding so you also can start optimizing your Etsy listings and get organic sales as well. But with that being said, also make sure you smash the like button down below. By liking this video, you help other people find this video and you help me as well, so I do appreciate it. But with that being said, let's just jump into the video and hopefully you guys enjoy. So the very first thing you wanna do when you go on Etsy is just make sure you're logged into your Etsy store. As you can see right here, this is just my Etsy store that I started a couple of months ago as a test store so we can have a look at how it has performed this year. Although taking into account only got five listings on this store, they're not very unique listings overall, but they're they're performing okay in general. Uh, so this year, 3,300 views, 1,900 visits, 20 orders, and $589 in revenue. But anyway, the organic traffic for these listings are pretty well. I'm ranking well for most of these listings as well. And overall, the store has been a success, I would consider, given the time I've actually spent on the site or the actual store itself. But anyway, let's dive into the SEO aspects of Etsy. So what you want to do is make sure you go over and show your listings and then just hop over to whatever listing you want to optimize. So let's say I want to optimize uh, the, let's see here, the Scooby-Doo unisex hoodie right here. Uh, what I would do is actually open this in another tab just so we can have two windows open. So we'll have one tab with the actual listing editing and then we'll have one tab for the other things we'll be doing here as well. The second step is to open up the stats menu uh, for the other tab that we have open. Once you open the stats, we also wanna go down here all the way until we go to the product itself. So just go ahead and click on this product right here. What we can see right here is the detailed data just for this specific listing. We can see that this month, so between the 1st of September and September 13th, we have had 85 visits, we have sold two items, and we have $50 in revenue. Uh, not a bad month, uh, but still, maybe not the best, but still it is it is okay. So what we can do right here is go to probably the last 30 days. So let's go to last 30 days and let's see what's happened. So we had 166 visits to this listing. We have five items sold and 125 in revenue. Um, then if we go all the way down, we can see where our traffic is coming from. So Etsy app and other Etsy pages is where we have 61% of our, our, of our actual traffic towards these listings. Then we have Etsy search, which is 34.9%. So this kind of gives us an idea of how we're doing in terms of our uh, search overall. So Etsy search is essentially what you want to rank for. Ranking in Google is gonna be possible, but still it's a bit trickier because you don't have the full control of the website. But why we actually want to dive into the analytics here is that we want to go into search terms. Search terms are gonna be the most important aspects if you want to optimize your SEO on your Etsy listings. So what this will show us is the most popular search terms that people have used to actually get to our listings in the past 30 days. So the most popular one here is gonna be Scooby-Doo right here. We have 12 visits from Scooby-Doo. We have hoodie, which is very, very general. A hoodie can be any type of hoodie. Someone can be looking for any type of hoodie. It can be red hoodie, black hoodie, uh, like so many different styles of hoodies as well. So this is a very broad term generally not where you want to rank for. You want to rank for something that's very specific for your product itself. And then these hoodie ones, while they are very broad, they could still give you some sort of revenue as well. So that could be good in the end of the day. Uh, but generally what you want to target are gonna be the more specific and niche keywords that are relevant to your listing. So what we can do here is just make sure we have a look at the keywords that we have. So Scooby-Doo, uh, Kawaii clothing, Scooby-Doo sweater, Scrappy-Doo hoodies, Scooby-Doo sweatshirt, Scooby-Doo hoodie, Scooby-Doo, and a bit of different spellings here. Uh, so anyway, we do have a lot of search terms here that can give us some sort of an idea of what we should be focusing on. So if we actually do search for Scooby-Doo here, so let me copy Scooby-Doo and let's go to Etsy.com. 
And then on Etsy, let's just go ahead and search for Scooby-Doo and let's see what we get. So if we do search for Scooby-Doo, currently I am the second listing or second search result at the moment. We have another sweatshirt here, which is actually taking position one, uh, but we are in second place. Now, this is also caching my previous, uh, my previous search history as well on the site. Uh, but this product is actually ranking very high on the site in general. What we want to do in order to rank for the Scooby-Doo specific keyword is just to make sure we include this in our content. Uh, so what we want to do is actually just go ahead and go into our listing and then in the title right here, we want to make sure that we include these important keywords that we want to rank for. And as you can see, I've already put Scooby-Doo in the front of the title. It's very clear that Scooby-Doo unisex hoodie is a keyword that we want to rank for here. But then I've also included other keywords as well, which are gonna be important and relevant for this specific product, which is Scrappy-Doo hoodie. We have dog cartoon pullover, kawaii clothing, and Scooby-Doo sweatshirt as well. So as you can see, what you want to do for the title is just make sure you're adding these very hyper relevant keywords or search terms, whatever you wanna call it, into your Etsy titles and make sure they're not too broad and they should still be relevant for the product itself. Because if you add a title, which is not really relevant at all to the product, you just add a bunch of different search terms, it will end up just not looking that professional and someone will jump off your actual uh, listing itself. So make sure it is relevant to the actual user and that will actually add more relevance to your product and making it more uh, or higher chance for you to actually rank for the keywords you want to rank for as well. Now going down, we don't only have one spot to optimize. We don't only have the title. Uh, we're not gonna talk about the, the categories here. Categories is still part of SEO aspect, but this is just about adding the most relevant category for your product. Now continuing down all the way to our product description, we do have a quite long product description for this specific product. What you want to do here, similar to what you did to the title, is that you want to add not way too much content, but you want to add enough content for your description to be able to contain some additional keywords as well. So as you can see right here, we have implemented some keywords throughout here. How to order your Scooby-Doo hoodie. This could, might as well just have been how to order your hoodie, but you really want to make sure that you optimize and include those search terms that adds that relevance to the listing itself. So just by adding Scooby-Doo here, we're increasing the relevancy to our listing. Now, you don't wanna overdo it, same with the title, you don't wanna just have a bunch of keywords in your description. Obviously, you still want to add benefit, beneficial information to your customers, whoever buying this, this specific product. You wanna make sure you have enough information for them while still including the search term in a natural way. Uh, this still makes sense in terms of the text overall. Now continuing down, we can see that we added some additional ones in here. I can't really see all of them, but we have specifically in the titles, uh, material scrappy do hoodie as well. Now moving down to the tags of the product, you wanna make sure that you always use the maximum amount of tags that you can for your listing. And same as before, what you want to do here is make sure you go over to your analytics and make sure the top ones here maybe skip the ones which are too broad, such as hoodie, make sure these are implemented to your listing. And if you want even more data, what you can do is actually look at the year in total, for example, and then we can go down and have a look at, okay, this year, what are the best performing ones? So Scooby-Doo, Scooby-Doo hoodie as well, Kawaii clothing, Scooby-Doo, Scooby-Doo hoodie, as crappy do sweatshirt and so on. Uh, so you kind of want to continue to optimize these and swap these out because the search trends and the search terms will change throughout the year. So let's say in winter, certain terms will obviously be more popular and then in summer, some will change. And then just generally over time, it will change as well. So make sure you stay up to date in terms of what terms are actually popular for your product and make sure these are always implemented as well. Once you have implemented your tags, you're pretty much good to go in terms of your actual relevance. Then there's obviously more things you can do, but it's not relevant to SEO. So you wanna make sure you get good reviews on your listings because the better reviews you have, the more likely someone is to click on your listing. If we go on the search result right here, we can see that I only have two reviews at the moment. Well, this one has 169. So 
people are going to be more inclined to click on this listing rather than my listing. Same goes for if someone has a very bad review. Let's see if we find someone here. We don't have anyone. Uh, but if you would have, let's say, two, three stars, people are less likely to click on your listing and that will affect the likeliness of you ranking higher as well. So make sure you have good reviews on your listing. So make sure you're always treating your clients the way they should be treated. Uh, make sure you give them a, at least prompt responses and overall just make sure that that is all good. Secondly, what you can do is allow for free shipping. Free shipping will give you this free shipping badge. So that will also increase the amount of people that actually click on your listing. And then lastly, what you can do, ensure that your images are actually clickable. You want to attract as many people to your listing as possible so you can try to customize your images as much as possible as well i used to have this image right here on my listing but what i did is i actually created a new image by a stock photo and just imported the actual design of the hoodie itself onto this image and that looks a lot better in my opinion because you can actually see how the product would look on a actual person once all of that is done you're pretty much ready to go your your listing is as optimized as as it can be uh, you always as i said you want to keep continuing to optimize your listing because you never really know what will work but make sure you keep testing your different titles test different images until you finally have the perfect or the winning concept of your product as well that is going to be it for today's video thank you all for watching if you did enjoy please make sure to leave a like down below and also make sure you are subscribed to the channel if you want to you can also join our discord channel it is a free community with everyone from the channel where you can also join in on the fun and ask questions and learn from other people. So make sure you do join the Discord channel that is also linked down below. That is it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys uh, in the next video.